Hey everybody, it's me, Super ES Fan 24. Um, this video is going to be a showcase of my weather radio collection because I feel like, feel like since I've accumulated so many in the past couple years, I figured might as well make a quick video about it. I'm trying to make this is my actually my third attempt at making this video because the first time uh, my camera ran out of space and I had to delete some stuff. Well, my 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 phone did it ran out of space because I'm recording on my Samsung. Um, and the second time I got interrupted like 10 seconds into the video, so I'm like, fuck this, I'm gonna re just record this again, so, hopefully this doesn't go too long, uh, it's gonna show you, hopefully, re as fast as I possibly can, my weather radio collection, but as efficient as I can, so, first one here we have is the weather cube, obviously, very, the very, a very basic radio, it's just a cube with a speaker in it and a button. It's that's that's what it is. At eleven AM weather Yep. Very cheap too, so if you want if you want a cheap radio, get this one. It's a bunch of stuff over there. Oh well, I guess I could show this. This is the Midland seventy four two fifty. Um I would not recommend buying that one. I mean it's just too complicated to set up in my opinion. There's the Eton Solar Link, uh three something I forget the model number it's the dad batteries are dead so that's why it's not in use currently right here is the Union and Bearcat WX 100 a very uh, prized weather radio by some people who have it I know very uh, very few people have it or have had it but it uh, broke this is no weather radio KHP 59 Yep, very nice weather radio. I did an unboxing on this, so go check it out. Very nice looking radio. If we go over here, we have the Midland WR10. I did an unboxing of this one as well, so again, go check it out. 69 at Indianapolis and 67 at Chicago at Buffalo. Yeah, again, another basic radio, like the Weather Cube. Yeah, it was just a, a trapezoid. And it spells out, and it's got like a letter M sort of shape to it for Midland, which I think is kind of creative in my opinion. It's a great job by Midland there. Um, right here is obviously the most classic of all the radios, the WR100. Station WMG698 from Grafton on a... Yeah, obviously very nice radio, you know, the classic alert tone. You know, everything about it is just nostalgic amazing I this may not stay here permanently uh, the reception's not good on it so I might as well I might move it but for now that's where it's going to be so uh, right here is the Radio Shack 12519 my favorite Radio Shack radio of all of them and obviously you can see why you know it's just got everything it's got the AM FM auxiliary uh, weather function and the Skywarn function you could put stickers on it if you want. You could just, you know, this thing is just amazing. It's a stereo, so you can basically use it as, as, as an alarm clock, which is what I use it for. And it works really good. It's very quiet if you want it to be. And it's just all around an amazing radio. So probably my favorite Radio Shack radio of all of them. Right here is the uh, Midland uh, HH50. I found it at Walmart for like 20 bucks a couple of years ago. I think it was last year or something. I forget. I am honestly I can't I can't keep track of all these. This one is probably my oldest out of the ones I have in here because this is six years old. So yeah, I bought that. Very basic, like I said. Here's the WR three hundred. Partly cloudy. Lows in the mid fifties. Yeah, very nice looking radio. This one's hooked up to the Midland Strobe Light too, as well. Yeah, so yeah, I, I still have this. This thing, you know, works really well after all this time. So, and then if you look over here, this is where the rest of them are. I did, I just did this today. Just put them all over here. I figured, why not? You know, have have them all have a good majority of them in the same area, right next to each other. So if we go from left to right here, um, right here is the Sanji and CL100. Very nice uh, weather radio. 
I don't get why it like has to fade into it though. Like you can't just turn it on. I don't understand that. Saturday night. But the alert tone sounds cool, and this thing overall is just really cool. Up here we have the uh, Radio Shack 12 uh, dash 521. The temperature was 68 degrees. Winds at Marblehead were. F another another great radio. Bought this six years ago. This one I bought, I think, like two years ago or a year ago. I'm not sure exactly. Sorry if I can't remember. I just don't remember. Uh, right here is the Midland WR11. It's 17 miles north of Vermilion. We're from the north. Very good radio. It's very loud, too. Same with this one. This is the Midland WR120B. I have the 120EZ, but it's upstairs in like our family's loft. Like an attic, sort of. Three feet, and the water temperature was 60 degrees. Very, very nice radio, but again, very loud. Right here is the Radio Shack 12 991, the touchscreen radio. It's very quiet. Because I keep it very quiet, because you can't turn. I mean, to my knowledge, you can't turn off the alert tone on this. You have to set it to like your county, so that's that's why it's quiet. So if I ever get an alert for for my county, it'll be on there. All right up here, we have the Eton Zone Guard. Great looking radio, again. Bought this at Radio Shack as well. Sorry, has said it's sad. It's hard. Excuse me. It's hard to believe that Radio Shack is um, going out of business. You know, so all the radios we get from Radio Shack are no longer going to exist, except on eBay, which makes them even more valuable. So, if you have a Radio Shack radio or multiple ones like I do, hold on to it. it it's very, uh, very valuable. Uh, right up there, we have the Capello. I don't know what the model number is for it. I'm just going to say the Capello. 9.91 .9 inches and steady. Yeah. I don't really feature this much. Some of these I don't really feature much. Uh, but if you want to see more of these radios in my alerts, please let me know. And I will uh, make any attempt to record it like that. Right here is the AlertWorks EAR-10. <laughs> This one I got like four years ago. This one I also got four years ago. This is uh, the Midland HH-54 VP2. This is the, the second version where, where the alert tone is, qu is, uh, is uh, quicker. Youngstown, N56 Ashtabula. Reports from nearby. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. I keep hitting this stupid thing, so I'm going to push it back just a little bit. That's close enough, I guess. That's the one thing. If you hit this, you hit that. Um, I might as well just go to this one. We'll go, back, go back to that one. This is the Recom R1630. Originating from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Cleveland. We supply the latest available... Well, this is one of my favorites because it's just a very unique radio in every aspect. So... I just figured, why not, you know? I'm going to try not to hit this, because it's going to hit this, and then that's going to suck. I might move this a little bit. We'll see. I'll position it differently. Right here is the Radio Shack 12 uh, 382. Whoops. With a temperature of 66 at Detroit, 69 at Indianapolis, and 67 at Chicago. Yep. Very nice weather radio. It's, again, an old nostalgic radio. Like I said, hold on to any Radio Shack radios you might have. Because they are valuable nowadays. Speaking of which, the last one... Wait, let me think. Yeah, this is the last one. The last last working one here. This is the Radio Shack 12 uh, 993. Northeast Ohio over station KHP 59 from Chester Lind on a frequency of 162. Very nice handheld model. Um, yeah, that's my backup mo handheld to the 380, no, to the um, HH over there. Um, 
and obviously I've had a couple other radios in, in my um, YouTube uh, years. Um, I've had the uh, the Midland 74200, but that crapped out on me. The uh, I've had the Radio Shack 12522. That one took a shit on me as well. So I don't use that anymore. I've had a couple others. I I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so that is my weather radio collection as of June 6th, 2017. Um, and if, for those of you who are, uh, who are thinking, yes, I do plan on getting the WR400, um, probably, um, at some point near the, uh, some point this summer, um, because I want to try and conserve money, uh, because, you know, the, uh, radio's 70 bucks on the Midlands website, and I don't know if, I don't think Amazon has, uh, any cheaper options, uh, for purchasing the radio, because I think they're out of stock, actually, of them, so, um, but until then, uh, I'm just gonna have to sit tight, but I will get the, I will get the WR400, and that'll probably be my last radio for quite a while, because, you know, one, there's not really a lot of, uh, options anymore in terms of weather radios, in my opinion, and, you know, I don't know, you know, there's there's always a limit when it comes to collecting weather radios. It, you know, it just gets to too many, and kind of wonder. You kind of have to have a limit on it. So that's that. Uh, so yeah, this is. But for now, this is my weather radio collection. And and when I do get the WR400, I will make an unboxing of it, video of it. So uh, stay tuned for that. And whenever whenever the hell that is. Um, and thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for all the support. I'm currently closing in on 1,700 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. And, yeah, so this is super, has been Super ESFan24. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next video.